dudes. Um, what's up? Welcome to the vlog. Oh, I had to show you stuff. What's up? If you're new here, hey, I'm Rosie. Nice to meet ya. This is going to be a New York travel vlog. My second, third, fourth, I don't know. I've done others this year. If you want to see the rest of them, I will be putting this in the playlist that has the rest of them. Stop, please. Please stop. Thank you. I don't know why my shirt looks like that. This is not stained, or well, maybe it is, I don't know. This is not sweat, I promise you. It's just how the shirt is washing. I am going back to New York tomorrow, and you know, I, I sure am going back. Um, I This is my second time back this year. It will be my third trip. One, two, three. This is my fourth trip of Honestly, the summer, like starting in April, May through now, this is my fourth time traveling. I have to go home for my grandfather's funeral, which is not a fun reason to be going home, but I am going home. So the last time I went home was for a funeral also. So that's that's a, a fun trend we're having this year. No, it's not. Um, anyways, I'm going home Friday night through the next Sunday. So like nine days. Yeah, yeah, nine days. Um, so I just filmed my packing video, like what I'm gonna bring with me to New York. And then literally, as soon as I was done, I got an email saying, hey, your Abercrombie order was delivered. And I was like, I didn't get a notification from like my Amazon locker. So like, I don't, I don't think it was. Um, but just found this large, very much like not put together box um, on my front stoop, so. We're gonna open it. I'm gonna hope everything is in there because it, as you could see, it's torn up, like the top and the bottom. So hope all, everything made it. If not, we'll see. But yes, yeah, so I figured I'd do a fun little Abercrombie haul for you because I might take this stuff. I probably won't because I already have a very full suitcase, but we'll see. Maybe for the funsies. It's also very warm, probably just from sitting out there. But anyways, Abercrombie was having their like 30, mm -hmm. I don't know what it is. It's like their denim sale. And then on top of that, there was another discount code. Like they're giving out YouTuber discount codes right now. So I just used the Honey app and put in all the coupons I could get. And it was pretty good, pretty good deal. So I figured I'd stock up on some basics, give them a go, especially because as a curvy woman, um, I'm always looking for good basic brands that will last a while and not many people have both the size and the quality that I need. So with the discounts, I was like, yeah, let's go for it. First, seems solid. Um, just this like super soft, lightweight t-shirt. Let's see if it says what it is. Yeah, it's the a and Modal Blend t-shirt and like, just like this nice tannish cream color. Very stretchy, I like it. I like this fabric. Along with that, I know I think I got a black one. I got a black one and this one is from the a and Essentials line and is a very different fabric, but a very nice fabric nonetheless. Still soft, but like in more of a cottony soft kind of way. Not like a, that modal stuff feels sort of like sports, like Under Armour type beat, you know? Um, but this is just a cute little blazing, blazing, basic black t-shirt with this nice, like, but like stitching around the neck, like a collar kind of. Um, I'm excited to wear this. This feels soft. But yes, I have, uh, I realized recently that I have a white t-shirt and that's it. I don't have any other like basic just one color t-shirts. The rest are like graphics. So I got that cream tanny one and then this black one. And I used to have so many black t-shirts when I was in theater college because I, I needed them for class. And then I got rid of them all after I graduated. So this next one, ooh, that feels cool. Okay, this is one of their bodysuits. This is the soft a and collection bodysuit, just in this beautiful like taupe color. And it's, as you can see, it's stretchy. It's similar to the modal fabric. It's stretchy and like slinky, if that makes sense. Um, my other Abercrombie and Fitch bodysuit is like cotton, like feels like a shirt. This definitely feels more like a leggingy material, but I dig it. This is from the men's section, soft a and yeah. Um, and it's just the Matisse, a uh, painting that's in the MoMA. He's done a bunch of them, but the, I know there's a version of this one in the MoMA that I've seen a lot and I love it. I just, 
it's just so joyful to me. I just like it a lot. So, very cool, La Danse. And just a nice, fun, big old graphic tee. Can't go wrong. And so far, everything, yeah, everything I've gotten has been in a double XL, just for reference. I normally like an XL to a double XL uh, and like a size 18 to 20. Now this, this is the item that made me place the order. I have been seeing people in the Emerson dress, you know, for months. And all of the patterns I like have always been sold out, but then I saw this one and this dress was on sale on top of the sale, so I was like, okay, I'll do it. Um, and it's just so pretty. Like, look at that. And it's technically, yeah, it's like, it hits right above my knee, but this is the fabric and the pattern. It's so beautiful. I love a good blue floral. And then with the brown mixed in, I was like, this is really good for like fall. So this actually, this will be coming with me. I like this. <gasps> oh, this is perfect. One set. Along with that, um, all of the black Emerson dresses and all of their lengths were also like more discounted than the rest. I think just because they had so many of them. So I hate that it was sitting outside because it feels like almost moist, but it's just like the heat. Ugh. Okay. I got the black version and this is actually great because I need a black dress for the funeral. So cool. Well, it came in time. So that's great. Um, I will be wearing this, but it feels like linen -y material. So hopefully it'll be fine. And it has a little like shoulder flap, like shoulder pad moment. Interesting. We'll have fun with this. I'm looking forward to her and like, yeah, but with that, I just wanted a new like black dress that I could wear with anything. Cause I realized I don't have one right now. I used to have one from Old Navy that I liked, but then I washed it so much that it got really like shapeless and I just wasn't wearing it. Cause I was like, this is a sack. So needed a replacement there. And like a high quality black dress that will last me a while is a good investment. Next, I bought my first pair of Abercrombie jeans, like jean jeans, full length. I love their shorts. I've had like three pairs of their shorts, I think, three or four. And I wanted to try their jeans, but obviously the jeans are always more expensive and I never catch them on sale. So these ones were on sale and not necessarily my size, um, but we're gonna see how they work because I did some finagling in my head and I got these. These are the, the dad high rise. Just like a cute classic ripped light wash jean um i have the dad high rise shorts and those have been fun and i normally go for the curve love obviously so i go for the curve love in a size 35 slash 20 that's like what it is and normally those are those are like my size those are perfect i thrifted a pair of shorts for four dollars four dollars brand new tags on abercrombie dad high rise shorts love them. most worn shorts this summer but they aren't curve love and i was surprised that i liked how they fit so these are not curb love. These are just like regular old dad. And they didn't have them in a 20. They had them either in like lower sizes or a 22. And so it's like 36 slash 22 short. So I was like, we'll see with a belt. If it works, it works. And I will, I will love it. But if not, I will just return it and that will be fine. But these were only like $33, which is absolutely insane for Abercrombie jeans because they normally are like 90. Now these are my regular size and I got the mom jean, the curve love mom high rise in a 35 slash 20. And they're just a solid dark blue, just like a real simple classic jean. Um, and like I said, I'm invested in the basics. And these were also like decently on sale. I don't think they were quite $33. I think they were maybe like 50, but with that, I mean, once again, their jeans are normally 90 to 100. The last pair of jeans are the high rise 90s relaxed curve love jean in the 35 slash 20. And they, I, I really liked the, the color. I don't know. I used to have a pair of American Eagle jeans in this wash and I really liked them. So once again, just another solid pair of jeans and hopefully they're comfy, they're good, they fit. And then I have my jeans for the fall. And a lot of my jeans from last fall were like just a little bit too small, so I got rid of them in the spring. So three new pairs of jeans, that that should be enough. I should be good. Like, I'm sure I'm gonna shop. I'm sure I'll do another fall haul. But 
this, I'm telling myself that this is the main fall. Because like, I'm getting stuff that I can wear with everything, you know? So, my last thing that I got are the Ultra High Wide Leg Curve Love. I think they're the Sloan pant. I'm not sure, but they're just light, light tan. Um, and I am going on yet another business trip in October, but it's in Austin. So I will, I will probably be wearing, you know, summer clothes, but I really liked this color. I have a pair of darker, more caramel brown ones. Um, same type of pant, but different fabric. And I loved them. I wore them to the office last time I went and they were great. They were hit. They were comfortable. So I was like, this is my corporate investment for the fall. So with this, I'm going to put the two dresses, then a t-shirt, and then the two basic shirts in my suitcase to take with me to New York. I'm going to take a few other things out because I was just sort of putting extra stuff in there to have clothes, but I would rather intentionally want to put clothes in. So that's good. And I did have everything. So despite the broken box, we made it all right. Yeah. Um, so I don't remember if I mentioned, but today's Thursday and I leave tomorrow. So I have one full day of work and then we're hopping on an airplane, baby. So I will catch up with you. I don't know, the next time I think to catch up with you. My sweet boy, my sweet Mr. Wee. <laughs> Here we go. Daddy has said that you want, you'd rather have the white car than the blue car. It's so beautiful. I miss good bagels. our target damage and now we're just gonna peruse on navy but i saw i wonder if you could see there's a 50 percent off for card holders and your bitch is a card holder so this might be the end of my fall shopping and that'll be good that'll be fine that'll be great let's go inside good morning girly pops it is 9 a.m on sunday and i've awoken in time to go get breakfast for me and my mom this is a win for sleepy girls everywhere. I'm exhausted and I don't know why, probably just from traveling, but I'm sleepy weepy, but that's okay. I'm gonna go get us acai bowls from Sobol. I haven't had an acai bowl in a hot sec, so that'll be lovely, perfect for today. Um, and then Jess is coming to pick me up around like 10, 15, 10, 30 for the beach and it'll be swell. Um, my quick little OOTD, cause you can kind of see it, is just my chambray dress and my fake Burks, plus my pink bathing suit, not pink, Victoria's Secret pink bathing suit with the with the citrus on it, you'll see it later. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go hang at the beach, I'm gonna read a little bit. I brought my, my pool book, my Meet Me by the Lake book, pink one, and I'm just gonna have a nice chill day. We're gonna hang, and then later on, we're gonna revisit uh, in the evening and hang out at Jess's house with Mel and Christina and it'll be lovely. But yes, let's start our day. Let's get some acai and iced coffee. Acai for breakfast. I only get peanut butter on mine. 
You get Nutella and half the acai. Yes. And then peanut butter too, or no? Oh, I forgot to get you peanut butter, sorry. No. I also forgot to ask for no honey on mine, so. Oh. We'll have some Is fun. Easy, honey? Pretty bookmark just got me from Florence. She's so gorgeous. I can't hear anything out of my left ear, so I might be yelling. <laughs> I'll figure that out later. <laughs> if only she knew. If only she knew. <laughs> yeah. Like, this is very good design. Good job, guys, at Wolf Earth Bates, Long Island. Some rose with the girly pops and some fire. The backyard looks so nice. I love like the lights and the flowers. They're so pretty. Yeah, oh my gosh, I didn't think about that. The flowers. No. <laughs> Hi, vlog. It's Mel and Jess and Christina. Hello. And I talk about you guys, so it's like fun to put the face in the vlog, so. Good night. Good night. Good night. <laughs> Junkie boy. My Mr. Marley. Mr. Marley Junkie Boy. So cutie. What a cutie boy. Hello. It is much later now. I'm going to meet up with Liv. We're going to have a nice fun little hangout at the Flower Shop Cafe, which is such a cute little place that I haven't been to since I was like in college. Um, but I'm driving over now. We just got some really great news from my parents' uh, lawyer about all of the stupid family shit that's been going on regarding my grandpa's death. Um, and she is not going to get away with it. So love to see it, love to hear it. And we're in a good mood. Time to go see Liv. <laughs> Otis. Look at your Otis. He's such a cute boy. I love his long tail. It's so good. Iggy's is like that big, you know, so. Going to salt check. Wow. 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 <laughs> cute. I like that. Okay. <laughs> I was gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> that went back so much farther than I thought it would. <laughs> oh, I'm video you getting out of this, let me just tell you. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, take your picture. Right. Here, you want Krista to hold the video on? Still? You can end it and just put it down, that's all right. Uh, can't